All right. How's that? Yes. That's fine. Okay. Wow. And what I I went I, what I did is I went back here to my old abstract just just for fun, and I you know the buildings you know of course in the background were dark you know the the um, grays and the uh, the browns or whatever and I did a in a palm tree, and I did just a, a an abstract of kind of like all the different colors, only using magazines. This is kind of interesting. You know, gluing them down in you know random pieces, but yet having sort of a pattern. And then um, what I did is I, you know, I put a, a finish on it. But um, I think it's kind of fun. You yeah, know, it's yeah. a, yeah, it's like a it. fun piece, you know, and I like it, you know, just because it was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's okay. That's it. And in the, in the black is blue. All of it is magazine paper except for this is washi. There's some washi on the top if you can see it. With little dots and there's some washi down on the bottom left corner uh, i have lots of washi i use that a lot is i'd love to show you guys you know what it is it's pretty awesome so that was one of them joe and the other one was i like, photosynthesis and um are you seeing this one now can you guys see i can see it i mean yes, I can that was it. that that's you pull paper with um, alcohol ink and acrylic ink and a little bit of, you know, there's a tiny, tiny, you know, bit of drawing in here. And um, I, what made me think of that now, I wonder if I should have it the other way around. I don't know. You mean like, and making, you mean like this? Uh, yeah, I'm not, no, I don't think no. that's, no. no, because the leaf, the leaf is coming out of the dark. Okay, I guess because what's going on in the world right now, what do you think? guys i like it this way yes mm. yeah. yeah and I I, what too. i did is, is i also used uh the real real simple um wrapped up uh what do you call it um uh, uh rat saran wrap and dabbed it on okay so you can see that that's that's where some of these little dots and some of this texture comes from and i, I would be happy to show you guys uh, you know at one meeting what it's really kind of fun but it looks good i mean i mean it's silly to say that myself, but it's interesting. You know, I it, like it. It is, Barbara. What, what, okay, well, this is on UPO, right? Which is that very plastic surface. Yeah, uh, you have to dry it. I mean, oops, it dries very fast. How I much, have to put it how much control do you have over the ink and paint? Or do you just let it flow? Well, you have some control over color, you know, where, where you put it. Okay. But, uh, quite honestly, well, I, I guess, for example, you just, like, for example, I mean, like right here, you know, there's a little leaf that's coming out of there and some of this down here, you just leave it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want, like this, this, you can see that I put, um, to, I put a, um, the saran wrap on it and you just push the saran wrap down, push it down everywhere. Um, you might leave a little for the leaf and then you pull it off when it dries and it's fine. Hmm. I could show you, I mean, but I just, uh, there's an area that's kind of brownish dark that looks a little like a pipe and everything else is light and yeah, pretty well, much. That's supposed to be the, I think I meant for that to be the ground, you know, something growing, you know, uh, uh, to me that in here represents the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it can come out quite, uh, that's why it looks a little like a pipe or something. Yeah, it could be. I mean, you could interpret this, but what it was meant to be, I named it photosynthesis because things are so bad out there, you know. So at the very top, she's leaning, she's leaning forward, but that wasn't meant to be. It just happened. But a very lovely colors next to the pipe. Thank you, Mary Frances. Yes. I, it, 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 basically, I, I'm not even so sure. It's like a cave, you know. And out of the cave and out, out of the light comes a plant. And see these two here, like their cells, and up here too. I mean, you can analyze it all you want, but that's mm -hmm. kind of what. Pencil ink, where it looks like the head of a lady and her back, and she's leaning forward. I know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was meant. You yeah. check it be somebody. I don't know, but it's you're right. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> what's fun, fun about what's fun about this is that you could do it. I named it that because that's what it. I don't know. That's what I feel like out there. There's nothing out there unless it's a, a succulent. 
And that mm -hmm. was also from a, um, you know, a, a, a picture kind of reminded me of, it was all succulents. I mean, there's nothing growing. So anyway, that's kind of what I did. What a else? Fairy tale to me. A nice. For a fairy tale. Thank you. <laughs> I am a fairy tale. <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> anyway, thank you. It's, those right. are my two. Okay. And Janet's up next. I like this. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I, I work mostly in collage for people who don't know me. Um, and this is something, I didn't do this for today. I did this uh, within the last year or so. And uh, the reason I wanted to share it is because <clears throat> I've been working on uh, getting more texture. And uh, when Joe mentioned having texture as a theme, I thought this might be a good example. Mm -hmm. I took uh, different kinds of paper different colors, as you can see, for the branches and ran them through my sewing machine to get extra lines. And uh, they're kind of, if you see it in person, there's, it, it stands out, it's wrinkled and it's crumpled and, and it has uh, the stitching kind of uh, in relief. And then all of the little bits, uh, the little circles are all little mirrors. Oh, wow. And, oh, cool. and, the, and the large round one is also Oh, I so like sewing on the tree trunk. I can see the sewing and I like it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Yeah, I do too. I like the sewing. Yeah, and I also did it all around the perimeter of the of the text. If you look, you can see uh -huh. two lines mm -hmm. of stitching there too. Oh, oh yeah. I actually like the the wood back the wood substrate. I think that yeah. really makes pulls it all together so that you get the sense of a tree. You know, I mean, it's, yeah, that's really well put together. I love that. Is the big circle a mirror as well? Yes. That's nice. It looks like the sky, kind mm -hmm. of like an opening in the tree to look at, see the sky. Well, what's interesting is, is that's how I photographed it. I took it out onto my patio and I laid it down on a table. And so that really is a reflection <laughs> of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it looks great. That's really nice. Yeah, this yeah. is one of those, I just saw a funny cartoon or a meme today that said, uh, this is one of those days where I, after 12 years of stashing something, I found a use for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that wooden platter for a very long time. So I was really happy Fabulous. to make good use of it. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I, a mixed media artist does. Yeah. yeah. The thing I really admire about your work is that it's so clean. You know, that's one thing I see throughout all your pieces. And it's so it's just so nice and clean. Thank you. And for some reason, it has the feeling of family. And I don't mean, I don't know why. I don't mean to say family tree, but there's something uh, whole about it uh, that relates to family. I don't know why. Why is that? Hmm. Interesting. Now, the only connection I can make is, that you know, Janet's son's you a conductor. And there's music pieces in there. So that's oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think everyone loves trees. Yeah. And yeah. Feel feel sort of a connection to trees. Is the tree made of paper or fabric? It's paper. Mm. Nice paper. Yeah. I also get the sense of where the big mirror is, like it's being held with a forefinger and a thumb. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like as a hand. Yeah, I often like the idea of, of kind of going through an art piece, like from mm -hmm. one dimension to another. And that was that was part of uh, what was fun about this. Although the, everything changes if you're standing in front of it because you become part of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You're in the tree. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Children would love that. Hmm. Yeah. Something about all of the types. All of the little type it takes me on to look at all of it, you know, just really see what all of it is. So, Janet, where did you get the little mirror pieces? Obviously, you didn't, you didn't punch those out, obviously. So, uh, no, uh, Michael's. <laughs> oh, no kidding. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's standard crafty stuff. I'm and the larger, of... the larger mirror is actually got a bevel to it. It's really a nice quality little mirror. Huh. I was thinking of my, my wife's uh, fifth grade class. This would be a great art, little, you know, great art piece for them to work on. You know, yeah, all the mirrors it, and stuff. 
Yeah, if they're old enough, the, the little mirrors actually have a bit of a sharp edge. So ah, you, have okay. to, you have to be cautious about that. Well, they're 10 year old, so I figured yeah. eh, that should be okay. I think it would, it would be cool to see you take a picture of it outside with reflections of, of whatever's outside. Yeah. <laughs> that would be uh, cool to see. Yeah. This would uh, be a great piece to travel with. And then you could put you could put something oh. in the mirrors where you're traveling to, and then take pictures. That would be very cool. <laughs> How big is that? That would be cool. It's, that it's, be cool. I, I've actually I've I've sold this already, so I I don't remember. It's it's, it's about sixteen or eighteen inches across. Mm -hmm. It's good sized. Yeah. Mm. All right, Kate. You are up next. Okay. Um, this is this is actually unfinished, but uh, because I'm I'm considering putting another darker color over the pink part, and then uh, then some additional pink, and then sanding it so that all of the texture really shows through um, the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't get a chance to do that, and it's, I just call this, the, the, the part on the top is supposed to be really chaotic and messy, and it's called coming apart. <laughs> mm. I, I like it. I think to me it seems finished. It's kind of an empty piece with lots yeah. of, and uh, it's very appealing. Yeah. It's charming. It, it's whimsical. Feel. Well, if you show the um, the details, I I sent it actually, I, I kind of even like the detail as a painting. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure yeah. Mm -hmm. to it because you're gonna lose that emptiness, which is interesting. Did you uh -huh. use paper for the for that detail? Is that or what did uh, you? You mean for the texture? Yeah. I used, I used, I actually used uh, just tissue paper, Kleenex, mm. and added, and some places I added some, at the bottom there were pieces of a magazine, and just, because I was, I was sanding, you know, adding paint and sanding and adding, there's several layers here. <laughs> wow, this is great. Well, Kate, this seems similar to your other work that you've done, I think, last time. And you really have a great um, style and vocabulary in your painting. You know, I mm. love like what people are saying, the, the contrast between um, a condensed area and then an open area. And it's a great balance between the two and detail and non-detail and um, color and non-color. It's just a great balance between the two. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. the way you placed it, but I'm curious how it would look upside down. Oh. Then it would look like a table with all this stuff on it. Oh. I like it better the way you had it. I like it. That's interesting. That looks good too, though. Yeah. I like it the way you have it, but I Because yeah. to me, it seems like they're climbing over a wall and the wall's crumbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's humorous. It's charming. Yeah. Kind of a alligator yeah, right, yeah. there and a person's face. Yeah, it's kind of threatening, but not threatening. It's you know, it's it's really yeah. This is interesting. Like well, it's invasive. I, I, yeah, I do, invasive, but I that's do the word. Yeah, to, I do tend to think about um, oh what's going on in the world and climate change and politics and so on, what I paint, because I like to, I like to incorporate how I'm uh, feeling about life into my paintings and try to tell some kind of a story. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I have kind of developed a style. Yeah, I've been kind of doing this for a while. Keep going, it's great. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. All what right. are you specifically? I can oh. see you as a children's book illustrator. There is a woman at yeah. the, um, who teaches um, 
art museum who does children's book illustrations as well. Yeah, because that top part is very graphic and illustrative. It's true. Yeah. All right, Kimberly Ann, you are up. Is... Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Like... Oh, that's called Uchu Osnick, like which is Lakota for um Mother Earth coming to life. Ah. And um, the bottom part is uh, spray paint, textured spray paint. Ah. Ah. Um, I love golden glass bead ah, gel. Mm -hmm. I get the colors, but then I put the glass in the to like get it. She's coming up. She's bringing it forward. She's bringing up fire, but. Can somebody else say what she said? The, I have trouble understanding you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't hear all of that either. Sorry. Yeah, fire. It's called Unchimaka Wazne, and that's Lakota for Mother Earth bringing forward, giving life. Huh. And so the bottom is spray paint, a textured spray paint, and the top is just a smooth acrylic. But the center here and that's coming up is golden glass bead gel mm -hmm. with acrylic under it. Oh. Yeah, it does look like it looks like molten lava coming out of sand. Yes. Yeah. The gray yeah. part looked like sand. This definitely looks like a Native American sand painting. Hmm. That that really comes through. Yeah, definitely a lot. Think about that. I was just using this uh, this spray paint for the earth because I didn't want to use um, actual dirt. Mm -hmm. I wanted the texture of the earth there. Uh, you hit it for sure. Yes. Very nice. It is very nice. Mm -hmm. And I like that this that the centerpiece is off center a little bit. It makes it a little more interesting too. Yeah, and it's not even level either. I mean, yeah. it's level that it was kind of cracking because when the volcano forms, that's what it does. It kind of shifts and cracks. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love their glass bead gel. You can do a lot of interesting things with that. Yeah. I like the color. Um, this it looks like a sky. I look. I like the colors as opposed to the. The bottom, which is so um, uncolored, I don't know what, what the word would be. Um, yeah, it's, but it's good neutral. contrast. Neutral. What did you call the gel? It's golden glass bead gel. Glass beads. Oh, also, okay, okay. They also have acrylic beads, but I like the glass. Okay, interesting. And does it come, I mean, how did you? How do you get all the different colors in it? Oh, I painted under it. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Everything under it, and then I took the glass bead gel and I laid it on top. Oh, and they're transparent. Yes. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, and the other thing you can do, Kate, is you can paint under, put the glass bead gel over, and then you can paint over the glass bead gel with like a wash, uh -huh. and and then your th that wash will fill in. The cracks between the uh, the glass beads. Okay, I'm writing this down. Watercolor or acrylic paint? Um, I when we took the class, she gave us golden high flow acrylics. Mm. Over, but this wasn't done in class. You used acrylic paint. Uh huh. A high flow. Yeah. That's their very thin acrylic from Golden. They usually, uh, what they do is they water them, they thin them down, usually with like alcohol. Like you would make an alcohol ink. Mm -hmm. That's what they would use. Interesting technique, really is. If you ever get a chance, Golden comes out and does a demonstration. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's a lot of times, if anyone's interested, you pay for the class, and the class does five different pieces, small pieces, um, with their different texture um, mediums. 
you know, if you go to their Facebook page, they do live demos like a couple of times a week or once or twice a week. Interesting. And you can find and, and they'll they'll record they'll do them live and then they'll record them so you can watch them after. Oh. That's yeah, they've we've their product had, line is amazing. We've had them demo in Santa Barbara a couple mm -hmm. of the same lady came each time. She's very good. We had Christina Ramos come out to Verdugo Hills Art Association. And then when she said she was teaching the class at Swains, I said, oh, I have to take the class. So it, it was really good. I mean, and we learned a lot of textures and we learned um, about five different mediums. All right. Next up is Mary Frerix. Okay. And now this can go in, it can also go vertically. Uh, I use the cover of a Yorker, which I sent you uh, the other way. Keep going. One more. <laughs> okay, now you see eyes, mm -hmm. like fish or something. But I hadn't planned it. It just happened to show mm -hmm. up. But I use the colors from this from the New Yorker cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I use to do the abstract paint. A lot of movements that way. Uh -huh. Like they're oh, swimming. Cool. cool. Very dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. An inspiration color wise, it's great. I love that. Mm -hmm. Colors are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wild. I like your painting better than the cover. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I had fun doing it, but sometimes when you do an abstract, something appears. I once did one and a bird appeared. So you you never know. I, I hadn't planned on this mask or fish or whatever. Yes, that's true. Yep. Just appeared. Uh, this has a story behind it. The university, uh, Princeton University Art Museum, where I said this lady conducted classes, they wanted us to send um, some sort of a painting of ours. And I miss, missed the deadline, but I had their magazine and I had the photo. I don't know if I sent you the photo that I used to paint this. That was the photo. So they, they're putting up a painting. And I did, yeah, this is the cover of the painting, shows the whole painting. And this is my little, um, I don't think it was watercolor. I think it was acrylic. It looks like watercolor. Yeah, it does. It must be very thin acrylic. Maybe, uh, I, used, maybe I did a watercolor. I can't remember. Because <laughs> it's. I did it very soon after we had the assignment. Mm, okay. But I, I missed their deadline. I sent a copy to Princeton, but I didn't hear from them. So I'm not sure if they got it. It was just fun. Oh, yeah. Sandy Keeveman, you're up next. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's, that's the photograph. I like to, I like to, um, I don't have, I threw out all my design magazines and I haven't been to the store. So um, I like National Geographic and I like to, Get in, I get inspired by a lot of the colors of, the, of nature. So that is the photograph um, that I, Ooh. This, this is, the color isn't quite right in this picture. It's a lot more aqua looking normally. No, that's so, nice. Mm -hmm. I did. A lot of, I use a lot of different um, scratching and, and glass beads and, and um, just, um, uh, mold, molding paste, and, you know, I use my fingers to swipe things, and, and 
paper towels to blot things. And so there's a lot of different mm -hmm. colors. Is there any gold leaf in this? Um, not gold leaf, but it is, it is gold paint. The color, okay. it, it really is much nicer in person. The color I know. photograph like. No, it has a lot of lot of depth. It does, yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, and that's, so what, that's what I thought. That even more so. Like beautiful, that. very nice, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it's real. I love the colors in this, and the design. I like work. that. And the texture. It's oh, really nice. Go back one. I didn't just do that one. I but. Uh, you know, it's, I do that kind of thing a lot. I, I like to play around with the different textures. For some reason, this looks really nice, but then you've got the heavy stuff on top. Hmm. Yeah, well, it looks very topographical. Mm -hmm. Okay, I screwed myself up here with Painting it is kind of cool. Um, horizontal to vertical. You want to look at it horizontal? I think I prefer it horizontal, but I like it the other way. That looks more like the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. And these look, these remind me of fish ribs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but you almost see a lady. That's like somebody's head. Yeah, like a photo. <laughs> well, the, the texture is really beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Agree. Lovely colors. That looks like you're going into the cave. A sea cave. Mm. All right. Cassie is up next. Okay. So I chose this. Um, Beautiful Ralph Lauren ad from Vanity Fair because I love those colors. Mm -hmm. Next, next picture, Joe. Mm. The first problem I ran into, I'm working with leftover house paint, mm -hmm. and I didn't have all those colors, you know. So I kind of had to make do with the the best I could, and I wanted to try. This is uh, unprimed, just raw canvas, and I scrunch it up and I put it in a bucket and I pour the paint on top of it. Mm. So wow. there are areas that take the paint and areas that resist. Oh. And I, I, I've done that before, but I've never done it with multiple pours. So I did this one color at a time. Oh, okay. Pouring the paint, you know, one color, opening it up, letting it dry, next color. And were you using acrylic paint? Leftover house paint. Oh, house paint. Yeah, latex. And left it just the way it was, or did you make it any thinner? I thinned it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thinned it down with quite a bit of water okay. so that it, it soaks into the, the raw canvas. I was wondering if the blue-green was even thinner, if it would be more watery which you may or may not want. Yeah, it would definitely be more pastel if I mm -hmm. watered it down more. If you water it down too much, it starts to get kind of chalky looking, you know, had yeah. like yeah. two. Mm -hmm. So so that was my first attempt. Uh, I, I, to me, it felt a little heavy and I didn't think the pattern was that interesting. So next slide, Joe. Oh. I wanted, I wanted to go lighter. Mm -hmm. And so I did a yellow pour, which kind of, it looked, that looked okay. And then I put all these different, with the other colors, I just splattered dots on top and it, it wasn't that interesting. So I, I folded it in half twice, both ways. And I didn't like that either. And so then I took the hose to it with the scrub brush, <laughs> scrubbed it down. <laughs> and uh, it's it's definitely lighter and cheerier. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. 
Yeah. But I, I felt like eh, it's it's kind of busy. There's not really any interest to it. So next slide, Joe. I like it, even though you don't. <laughs> yeah. With this one, uh, on the last one, I kind of lost that yellow pour, you know? So mm -hmm. this one, I went with a turquoise pour, which stands out a lot more. And I thought, you know what? I, the previous two, they were too busy. I just want to go with something simple. So yeah. I just did, I did the turquoise pour and then the other colors, you know, I just put on a few dots of colors here and there. And uh, of, the, of the three, I think this one is more successful, but to me, it's still like, eh, you know. Well, this one, I actually see either a cat or a dog, and the little girl is pulling its ear. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kathy, Mary. Um, what size is this? Uh, this one here is 24 by 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, and is it stretched after you? Not yet. I mean, okay. it, it could be, but I, I haven't stretched it. It's really, they're all very interesting uh, in composition and color. Uh, and texture, I, I think they'd be great. The larger, like larger and stretched, they'd be, yeah. they'd be great. Yeah, you think? Oh yeah. Uh, I found it, you know, I found it really challenging working with that Ralph Lauren ad because the colors in that piece are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it was really hard to, I don't usually pre-plan pre my pieces that much. Like I usually am responding more to the pieces I go along, and here I had I had like preset colors, you know, mm -hmm. and I just I just found that really difficult. <laughs> if you went with watercolor instead of house paint. You might have gotten the colors closer, but I like that second one a lot too. I don't know why you're dismissing it. Really, I yeah. like the I like the house paint. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, you know, I really enjoy like when a piece isn't working out, you know, to do stuff like hose it down and scrub it with a wire brush, you know. I, yeah. I, Some kind of, of the famous artists drive and leave car tires and stuff like that on their painting. <laughs> I think I like this one the best because I think it has the, the better um, expansive values as well. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I do too. You know? Makes me think of a painter's drop cloth. It looks like there's a focal point kind of, whereas the others are more pattern, like a, like patterns for material. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah everything's moving toward the center here. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I think is can be difficult, and Cassie, you can speak this better than anybody, is that I noticed in the in the uh, Lauren ad, those colors are extremely the chrome is really high. They're very bright. And I'm not sure you can get that with, with house paint. Now, I could be totally wrong, but well, I'd be curious to hear what, you th what your thoughts are. I, th I think you, you could. I don't happen to have those really saturated. I mean, mm. if you look at this piece, Joe, like that yellow and that orange yellow. Yeah. Those are both really saturated. They are. They're very. That's what I noticed about about this one, yeah. versus the others, is that you do have more pop on these. Yeah, those two are really saturated. But you're right. Like, I don't have that really. You know, all, they're almost like fluorescent colors. Some of them. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you could like you know if you wanted to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Oh and, yeah, you could buy. You know, it, sure. you know, pay thirty dollars a gallon. You know, mm -hmm. you you could get those colors, but I I don't happen to have them. Yeah. This one to me tells a story because I keep seeing figures and I now see a giant flower, I see a person, I see little animals, and two little girls and. They're definitely pulling this creature's ear. It's got two eyes and a nose. Whether it's a cat, I don't know. I even see another ear being pulled by the big person of some other creature, and it's got its tongue sticking out. So I, I don't know what to tell you. It's telling me a story. You hadn't planned it, but there's a lot of activity going on. Yeah, that, that's the thing. There's, there's a. It, it, it's interesting because it's sparser than the other two, but I think it's more active than the other two. Very active. I mean, I can't show you 
what I see, but I'd point them out if I could. The only I, thing I would add is I think I think I would like to see more something. Um, I, I like the little bits of black, and I was thinking it'd be great if there were more was more black. Just like that's that. just me because I tend to like to have some strong contrasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the turquoise is really strong. Um, yeah, but maybe maybe gray or black. I don't know. I I like I like the I like the um, I don't know if you want to call it composition or just the the um, the way everything dropped and I even like the wrinkles. Mm. <laughs> well, I think sort of adds texture. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I really like the wrinkles too, and when I stretch it. Those wrinkles will stay. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Even better, yeah. Hmm. You need it out? That is really nice. I like this. All right. And I have this one piece I, this month. This is where I, I'll get it to you, oh. So this is my, the title on this is Ocean yeah. One. Um, I'm thinking of doing a series on these. And the substrate, it's on a cradle. It's on a um, 16 by 20, I think it's 16 by 20 cradle. Um, what is that? It's wood. It's a, it's, it's a wood substrate, like gesso board. Yeah, like what Kimberly Aaron's showing you. It's only like a three quarter inch cradle. And then on top of that, I decided to play with Vasari, uh, Venetian plaster. Um, the, and this I this I picked up at Lowe's. And Don't they have a pre, a pre. It's a it's a synthetic Venetian. And the one nice happy surprise was after I put it on, it takes about a day to dry before you can paint on it. Link and then print it. And I looked at it the next day. All right, all right I'll do this. Joe, and does somebody have a, right somebody now, here, yeah. here in the background? We want to make sure it's done right. Hey, Barbara, Barbara, can you come on mute? Policy with no, other people. Call them and okay. That's much mute. better. Now we okay. can hear. So when I, when I, apply, I, when I applied the, the Venetian plaster, I was using a, um, a trowel and then a, uh, a palette knife. Is and that a wide area? What's that? Is the Venetian plaster the white area? No, that's paint. That's paint. Oh, the plaster um, is under the blue? The plaster is, is the substrate. It's not showing through at all. It's under the blue paint. Every, it's under everything. It's under it's everything. It's texture. It's under everything, yeah. It's all the and texture. The, 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 the really cool surprise on this was the the next day when I looked at it, my it, it cracked. You can see all these little tiny cracks in here. Oh. And my first reaction was like, oh no. Then I went, wait a minute. <laughs> I like this. It's yeah. a happy accident. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so then I, I built up, you know, the 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 aquas and the blues, and then I then I um and very washy too. Um and the white was very washy, very thin. And then I was looking at it and I said, okay, well, that's really uninteresting. What are you gonna do with this? So I got some, some green gold paint and I watered, really watered it down. And I took a, I don't have it right in front of me, but I had picked up this really thick knitting, uh, you know, yarn at Michael's. And I cut a piece off, I dipped it in the yellow, and I just created the, those organic shapes with what looks like kelp, okay? Um, and then I got to that point, I said, oh, oh all right, that's, that's kind of nice, but it really doesn't excite me. If, I, so, if I'm looking at it from a little bit farther away, um, if I push my chair back, I, it looks a little Chagall-like with the, the things flying through the air, you know, yeah, the, right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny because when I, after I, after I 
basically through the Aranjan, which by the way was my homage to Finding Nemo. <laughs> um, I had a similar feeling and I couldn't, I, I was like, is it Chagall or is it Matisse? I wasn't sure where, where the influence was coming from. all those things that he flied, the people fly through the air. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, so it was really fun to do and, and it's probably the best, I feel like it's the best piece I've ever made. Um, hmm. And a lot of it is the fact that I really loosened up because I was heavily geometric and controlled and this just kind of cut me loose a bit. Yeah, I like it a lot. Did you sand to get the white coming through? No, that white is actually thin white paint that I applied oh. afterwards. Okay. And it kind of fell into the cracks. And um, the other interesting thing with this is I tried to play with light. Um, at one point, it looked very flat. And then I realized, you know what? If I take an, an anthraquinone blue and thin that out and apply it along the bottom, it, it darkened the bottom half of the painting, but it creates this sense of light in mm -hmm. the upper right-hand side that I really, really liked. Yes, it does. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. I like the dark, too, with the light blue lines through the dark. Mm hmm. Yeah. Again, this is all layered paint. You know, I, I think the first layer that went on was like a teal. And then I then I went over it with a, um, a cobalt turquoise in different areas and very thin. And then there's some um, cobalt blue, some ultramarine blue, anthraquinone blue green gold, and then that's a, a, a cat. no, it's not the vat orange. It's actually a vat orange with some more red added to it. You know, I have to say, I got the feeling of these ghost-like figures swooping through through this. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Just, you know, something, yeah, ethereal. There's okay. a man running at the very bottom. So they're all maybe a lady floating ghost-like figure. Interesting. It, one could be an octopus, but it yeah, also looks like a Yeah, the, the white skeleton. very nymph-like. It looks like spirits. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. But the inspiration to me was oceans. I had actually gone and, and Googled the word oceans and put up a whole bunch of photographs and said, Go from there. There's your palette. Start working on it. Yeah, it definitely says ocean. Oh yeah. Yeah, the the the, the, the movement of the green is really really um, appealing. I think the um, it just has this continual flow, uh, as well as the background and and the uh, orangey. But it's that green in the middle that um, I think make it flow mm -hmm. through, through so well. You know, it's funny. We, I, I was in one of the classes, in fact, Mary takes this class, uh, the abstract uh, painting class up at Santa Barbara Community. Um, she introduced us to in using yarn dipped in paint to create organic lines. And it really, really works well. And I wanted something. So I had done another painting here earlier that I, where it's thinner, it's thinner yarn that I used to create lines. But I decided I wanted to get something thicker. <laughs> so that's why I, I picked up this thick yarn. It's probably almost a half inch thick. Maybe no, nah, maybe about three eighths, something like that. So and just kind of draped it. And then I did use a brush at one time just to like maybe connect a few areas and stretch something out, but very little brush work on that. And the orange was the grand finale. <laughs> it's successful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel pretty pleased about this. I may do some more work with the Vasari too. I mean the Venetian. Um, in fact, I'm tempted to go buy some actual Venetian plaster and see if that takes paint differently. I'm always fascinated by substrates and what they do. So that's all I have here. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to get 
Michelle's paints paintings. Joe, I have one behind me if if we have time and Oh sure, we have plenty of time. Talk about We're it. We're doing really good with time right now. Yeah, it was a nice piece, John. All right, let me share this out and kind of pixelates a little bit. So Michelle, you want to speak to this? Which, which one did you put up? It hasn't come up yet on my tiny. The red one or the Can you guys see this? No. Idea no. Or the... Oh, I'll tell you this share screen thing is really kind of weird. Is um, it the idea or is it the we, No, we see your file. But, yeah, it's all it's all the, uh, all the images. Hang on, we're going to try to. <clears throat> Let me try it again. All right, let's try this again. So we go here. Can you see that now? Nope. nope. And you can see all of them. Oh man, I don't know why that's happening. That's the one, is it Arcadia? Yeah. yeah. Arcadia. What happens if you click on it? Will it get ready? Well, it does. Oh. It does for me, but you're not, you guys aren't seeing it. Let me do something different. Let me stop the share. And let me. Oh, that's great. I can't minimize while I'm recording a meeting. Isn't that lovely? Maybe if you make it big and then share. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to try now. And well, in the meantime, who did the painting behind you, Joe? That is Mark. That's Mark Bradford. Okay. And he's going to be the subject of our next getting to know session okay. on the 21st, right. I think. So Ooh, can you see this now? Yes. Yeah. It's small. It's small though. Yeah. There. there we go. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Is it, it's a little fuzzy. But... Yeah, I know. I think that's because of the size of the image yeah. that okay. Michelle sent. So but that's okay. okay. You make it bigger. I'd rather see it bigger. No, I like this. Can you make it bigger, Joe, even if it's fuzzy? How's that? That's good. Yeah. Fun. So I I wish I could say that it was from a tear sheet in a magazine, but um, I just was filled with that color, and I loved the brilliance of um, the sun coming on the leaves of a tree. Mm. So I kind of um, in Arcadia National Park when I went. Um, I guess I could say it was like the. It's not really, I can't say it's sunset, but those were the colors and it was just, I was just filled with, I like Mark Rothko too. And um, so mm -hmm. even though it doesn't look like Rothko, you know, the squares of colors just influencing each other. I love the background colors, gorgeous. Yeah. And the green as the, as a complement to the, to that color is, that's kind of reddish. It comes across nicely. It is a compliment. Oh, yeah. The big blue almost looks like an ice cube, but it's very pretty. And the little green ones. Mm -hmm. And the blue, for some reason, comes forward and the tree goes back. The blue is the, the ice cube blue is the closest to me. Isn't it funny that it does that? You wouldn't think it would, but. Yeah. yeah. But you know why? I think it's also the brightest. Like if you, if, 
when I open this up, my eye goes right to that corner where there's uh, that side of the, the big blue cube that has some white in it. Okay. That just has room. Can I grab Do you have a eye. title for this? It's called Acadia. Mm. Um, in Maine, there we were at a uh, it's Acadia National Park. Mm -hmm. I don't. It was just my feelings of what was going on at the time. Mm. Um, uh, and it is funny because I was using kind of playing with things that the blue because of its brilliance that's off in the horizon in the back there really does pop out even though it's far far out mm -hmm. and it maybe uh, I don't know how it relates to that cube I can't really say but um, uh, I like what that does Michelle I like that the, like uh, Mary said the the blue square seems closer and that little piece on the horizon seems very distant and you feel like you can move right into that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a journey. Yeah, it creates depth in the painting for sure. Yeah, funny that it does. Yeah, and I think you're right, Joe, with um, you said something about the brightness and the whiteness. Your eye kind of sees the, the Yeah, my eye goes right of, there, you know, it's like as soon as I open it up, that's where my eye goes. And then I go through the painting. Your eye goes lightest to the lightest spot. Yeah, it's kind of like my eye goes to the, the, the big cube, and then it goes up to the light blue ab above the tree, then through the tree, and then my this nice spot, empty spot on the lower right, is I, it's like a resting spot, which is really nice. My, my eye doesn't even go to the big empty spot. It keeps focusing on the blues and the green. Yeah, the blues seem to keep capturing me and taking me through it all. And... Mm hmm I'm glad you go to the. I I love I love making with those oranges and the washes of colors. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess over on the left I did it more with the lighter ones. It was more like day and night or something in a way. But that really, I was just having fun with the colors too. And then to put the hard edge lines in there mm -hmm. was just I don't can I. And I don't need to know why, but you know, so organic with the trees and then these hard edge things. It's, um... Yes, and the large, the red space uh, balances really well with everything, uh, the empty space. It's also a great cruciform composition, too. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorite compositions is the cruciform. Huh. Very nice. Yeah, Sim the simplicity works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really this is really nice. All right, let me stop the share. I've never had anybody critiquing it, so it's really nice to have a group that's going to just kind of talk about things. Yeah, it's good to get feedback, you know. Yeah. 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 Michelle, how how big was that? Um, it was. It was bigger than 16 by 20, but just only by a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe 18 by 24, maybe, maybe 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely will catch attention in a show. And then, and this is a really big one. Um, very good. Yeah, that's very nice. This reminds me of, is, I think it's Monet, the, the Lily. Yep. Mm -hmm. It does have a real impressionist feel to it. Yes. Impressionist. Yeah, I wanted um, this one I actually sold and they wanted a lot of texture. And, uh, and then I got it back because they wanted it fast. They wanted texture. I, I built up with impasto and everything, mm -hmm. but then they put it in the sun. It, it was in, it's actually in Malibu in a sunroom that was overlooking the ocean. So it used to have like all this like heat blasting on it. So Ooh. it wound up the outside hardened quicker than the inside with all of the squish. And so it, it had all these little crackles, which I actually thought were nice, but um, I got it back. And uh, I gave them something else. I could have repaired it, but then it's another painting. So I'm kind of glad to get it back. <laughs> but I guess that's something maybe maybe others know more about that. But I whatever I, I built it up with, um, I don't even remember 
Michelle, this oil? Supposedly something that you could really build up, but I think you're supposed to, pardon? It was oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to just let it dry a, whole long, a, a, a lot longer, you know, mm. than I, I, they didn't have time. Of course, they wanted it, and and yet they wanted it really thick. So I really slapped on the, um, not just the oil, but the underneath the um, mm -hmm. gesso and uh, medium. medium and, um, oh, okay. So the outside, because it had such a heat blast in the afternoon, really hardened the outside, but the inside was still kind of moving around. So it yeah. created war between the inside and outside. And I think the lovely little crackles, but, mm -hmm. uh, but they weren't that enchanted with the crackle. So I, I have this now. So Once again, I love the color. To me, this looks like a stream. It's a, you know. a pond mm -hmm. to me. It looks like a pond. Yeah, a pond, yeah. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. How large? And little fish, the little boy. Yep. It's, um, yeah. Boy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's what probably, size did you say? It's, I, I think it, God, I don't even, I think it's got to be even bigger. It's like five by six or four and a half by five and a half or wow. something. Oh, okay. Okay. That's big. Yeah. Which was really fun to use a palette knife. And, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> really play with the texture. I was so excited. In fact, it looked so different when I started building it, it just transformed mm -hmm. along the way. They were totally open to what I was going to do. And they did love the painting, but. Michelle, you I, put this on canvas? Yes. See, the other problem when if, when, you, when you're using those mediums. Yeah, I mean, that. You're absolutely right. Yep. Yeah. If you, if you had put this on like on wood, I think it might have held up. Right, maybe. Huh? Possibly, possibly. It might have dried really good and then not moved. Yeah, maybe. But uh, if it's if there's a lot of sun and you've got a thick oil layer, mm, yeah. Well, but now you have a lovely painting of your own, and you don't have to worry about it. That's right. What's <laughs> that? that? So you have a lovely painting of your own, and you don't have to worry about it. That's right. <laughs> I don't need to. Yeah. Love the crackle, and you know, I yeah. was thinking that it's 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 pretty much solidified now I could um, put varnish like real thick and just you know let it pour into those cracks and mm -hmm. make it really nice and solid and stable you know yeah yeah so yeah I'd put that up for sale again sure I'll probably do something with the front right somehow I you In know here? I felt yeah I th I'm not I think I'm it almost think looks to me like pencil colored pencil in the front right rather than oil the rest of it looks right. like. Right. But it does look that way. Kind of has a line quality to it, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since I, no, I don't need to worry about anybody else now, I can go ahead and do what I want. Which, unfortunately, means I'll probably ruin it if I don't stop at the right <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah, you probably should stop, I think. I, I like, I like yeah, it. I think it's, I think it's finished. It's done. Okay. Yeah. But varnish it. Definitely varnish it. Right, that'll stabilize it. And I yep. think you're absolutely right. I wish I had done it on a board, you know, a, a nice big board that would have been really cool. Let them worry about how heavy it was. And yep. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have to bow out. I've got workers here. All righty, Sandy. It was Thank great you. seeing you. Great. Thank you. I look forward to the next one. Absolutely. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. So let's see, Kathy. Um, so I did not have a chance to do this. Um, I, I think I'm not getting the um, emails or something. Really? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't heard from you, Joe. I haven't had an email from you in about a month. Wait a so, minute. You, well, you and I had emails about you not being around or doing something. That was, yeah. Did you get my answers to those? Yes, but I hadn't heard from you, like I said, for weeks. So huh. that's why I wrote and said, hey, is there any, you know, meetings and stuff? Oh, yeah. So, ch ch do me a favor. You know, I'm wondering, too, when I use the BuenaVenturaGallery.org email, I have a feeling that's getting slammed into some oh, uh, spam folders. Yeah, maybe Whereas so. it, if it comes from me, like my Gmail account. Yeah, I think that's because that's where you hit, you came back to me there, and we yeah. went back and forth. That seemed to be okay. 
Yeah. So, so I've switched over now. I'm not using that for this. I'm going to use my own account just so I make uh, okay. sure. Because okay. I think Ma Mary even had a similar problem well, find too. Well, I had been hacked, so my problem could have been. Uh, no, I have the same. I did lose your emails for a while. They disappeared. Mm. They were there. They were in some other area. Ah. <laughs> That's true. Of so anyway, I really enjoyed the challenge, you know, every week of just kind of, I don't know, it's almost like being in a class where you have a challenge, mm -hmm. you have the, um, of, of what the assignment is and then, and then doing it, you know, so I mm -hmm. really enjoyed that. But this time, um, I just didn't have the time to do it. So I just took something off my wall. Um, so I'll, I'll move so you can see it. Oh, how interesting. Um, I don't know if it needs to be adjusted at all. Oh, wow. Um, on a second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I don't really, well, I think it's okay. I put it on my easel. I guess I could bring it closer. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's better. There you go. Let me see if the light helps. That's that's good, right about there. Okay. Yeah. Where, um, where is that? That's wonderful. So this was also a um, a class that I did take. <laughs> um, that and then I I brought it home and kept working on it. So it's one of my more, I feel one of my better abstracts that I've done. Um, but it just started out um, as a drawing and then just kind of working um, uh, with some repetitive shapes. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of emerged looking more architectural than I ever intended it to be, mm -hmm. but um, I just could have left it and liked it and um, worked with it a little bit and, and ended up with this piece. So you weren't it, looking at anything? Wow. No, uh, it reminds actually, me of San Francisco. A drawing. Definitely uh, architectural. Uh, it was sort of like a pier or something, but it was, uh, it was um, vertical. Um, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a portrait, and then I turned it and worked the rest of it uh, horizontally. Um, so um, one one we did, I'm not sure if this was it, one was a figure, and then we made an abstract from it, and then one was, uh, I think actually this was the figure. I started out with oh, the figure drawing, and this is what I ended up with. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah it's re um, this reminds uh, me of the, how the houses are stacked in San Francisco. Yeah. You know, they, they kind of like get stacked up a hill, hillside. Uh -huh. Yeah, it kind of has that feel to it. I like the buildings, but there's a white something or other that I can't determine what it is in front of the white building. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where, like here? The yeah. white... He, Keep going. This white thing next to the building. No, no, no. Where you were at the beginning, the first time. Right that, there. Uh, that bothers me. I can't tell what what it is. And uh, it, it is white. <laughs> An area. <of> white. <laughs> white. Okay. It's not supposed to be anything. <laughs> I I would put something in there or some color because it takes away from the white building. Well, I think, uh, I also think just the, this lighting isn't very. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, Otherwise, I that's like fair. everything else. I like yeah. everything You weren't going for architectural, though, because it sure looks architectural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't and I like the muted colors. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That also adds to it being architectural because most most building colors are somewhat muted. Yeah, like I this building, you have yellow, which is fine next to the gray building, but the white takes away because it's so bright. I keep going to. I think thing. it's bright. Yeah, okay, I like it. Thank you. That was I'm, I'm so surprised that you just came out of it out of your head and developed yeah. it that way because it just looks so I mean it's just beautiful and mm -hmm. it looks so like a place you know it looks like it was planned but it wasn't you know what I mean it looks like there's yeah. a plan to it 
Yeah, yeah. No, like I said, I think it started out. Uh, uh, it started out as a figure drawing um, uh, vertically. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeah. it ended up being. So it's amazing how we start no. one way in one area. It's really find good. It somewhere else. Yeah. It's really, it's really good. Wait, yep. did you say you thought it started off as a figure drawing in that yeah. area? Like a yeah, it was it was uh, vertically. We did a figure drawing, and then um, and then turned the turned the paper. It's pa on paper. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think um, what is the nice printing paper? Um, I forgot the name of it now, but the nice printing type of paper that they have. And um, yeah, and then we just kind of went from there. Just adding shapes and colors and mm. water, so it's a, watercolor no it's acrylic acrylic okay yeah does this have a title uh, i had titled it um it might be um just in a series of cityscapes mm. um, so, i mean i kind of put that in just because but it's not it wasn't intentionally you know it just kind of ended up being that way but yeah, that's all right i just sure kind of in a series of cityscapes good good no it's it's very cool thank you all right hey joe Yes, ma'am. The how do you get the painting behind you to not make your head fuzzy? Ah, yes, <laughs> the magic. Yes. You know, I I started do I started work as a photographer like as a hobby back in two thousand eight, and during from two thousand eight till about two thousand seventeen, I was photographing everything I could, um, and during that time, I purchased this green screen. Oh, okay. It's one that's on like a, uh, it's got like a spring material around the edge of it and you have to fold yeah. it up and that kind yeah. of thing. And it's, it's so, I was so tired of having my head melt into you know, the background <laughs> yes. that I went out and said, I think I've got some, in fact, I thought I had green screen cloth, which I do have, but I found this, I'm like, oh, this is perfect. And it, it, it does, it does get rid of all of the, you know, the, blending in and your head disappearing and unless you want to do magic tricks which which you can do but that's great thanks yeah. so you have an actual green screen and you chose that piece to put up yeah in fact if wow. i if i do let me see if i can show this so if i go here on virtual background and i unclick this now you still okay. see that okay and if i do that there you go there aha Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I much prefer the painting. Oh, of course. Nice. Like this. <laughs> Do we have more people? Because I have class starting 5.30. I mean, yeah. 6.30, and I need to eat dinner. Do we have anybody else? I don't think so. Mary, are you going to the, to the mixed media class? That's tonight. Yes. I, was th I was thinking about going myself because Laura's invited me. What time does it start? 6.30. Oh, 6.30 it starts. I, for some reason, I thought it was 5.30. Um, I have a couple, Joe, that I didn't send to you. Do I, I, 6.30. Do you want to show something, Mary Kay? Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't do abstract. I have to put that ahead first here. This is all new to me. All and right. I, I just th threw paint down and did whatever came to me. And um, this is what I came up with. Ooh. That is abstract. <laughs> That's, That's nice. I love the colors. Time. It's cheerful. It's like a birthday party. Yep. <laughs> a lot of a lot of and then just for texture. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, I like that too. This little guy. Oh, yeah. I like that better. Mm hmm. That's nice. Awesome. Very nice. Did you use salt? Hmm? Did you use salt? I did. I got some kosher salt. 
Okay. Kosher salt and um, um, sponge and surround wrap. Amen. Yeah, works really good for texture. Have you ever tried using uh, washes of like instant coffee? Or no, I tried regular coffee and that didn't work. No, instant I coffee did. works really good. Uh, or even if you wet your page and you just like sprinkle it down, mm -hmm. it works really well. I'll try that. All right. So now we come to that uh, space. Uh, it's time every month. What are we going to have for challenges next month? Any ideas? Um, any thoughts? One, one of our challenges this time, because if it wasn't, that might be interesting to, to do texture. Oh, we just did texture. I mean, we could do more if you want. That's fine. Was that this month's? Yeah. Text? I like texture. If we could do texture. Oh, let's, I would, let's, let's, we could, what are, what are our choices? Could we, we could pick a color or colors. We could. Um, one of the okay. things I thought of was we, you know, we, one of the challenges could just be an open challenge. I mean, people are doing work that don't necessarily fit a challenge that we're, we're, we're involved in. So, one part of it could just be an open, an open challenge, whatever you're working on, work in progress or whatever you're working on. Yeah. And then anybody have any ideas on, on another? Maybe if we do um, texture, but it's um, got to have a little collage or something going on. No, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do collage either. No. Not yet, anyway. Oh, <laughs> do complementary colors or you know three colors that you know two complementary colors and then one uh how about we do something out of our comfort zone yeah it's a, i was wondering about uh sort of geometric geometric shapes you know how about doing something like this um like five sh five shapes on one painting on, on one, one painting, painting. yep that could be. Oh. <laughs> now you can yeah. add line to it and everything else, but you have to have five shapes. Well, okay. oh, that is a shape. That's what's that? A shape. The background can be a shape, right? Organic or single. well, or... if it's a single color, it's really not a shape because it's unless you consider the fact it's bordered by the edge of the mm, substrate. But I would say five. Five Tri shapes within within it, like a triangle, square, or like anything you want. It could be anything you want. It could be any just five shapes, and you can use line to connect them. You can, uh, in other I words, there's other things you can do, but there has to be five shapes. But you don't. Oh, yeah. But I, I I would I always do way more. Than five <laughs> <shapes>. <laughs> so this would be a challenge for you to do less than oh. you, what you normally do. And can, can find it to five shades. Or how about picking our, fa you know, a famous, a, our favorite artist, and trying to do something That's uh, nice. in that style? Or That's a good idea. That's a good uh, idea. Or painting and abstract it. I like that again. We'll take a famous painting and then abstract it. Yes, we could do that. With five shapes, Joe. <laughs> well, I did, yeah, I know. Well, the, of course, I'll be going to Helen Frankenthaler for that. So, <laughs> I go for favorite artist and abstract it. That appeals to me. All right, pick your favorite uh, artist, a work from your favorite artist, and abstract it. I'm gonna say goodbye because I need to. What if my favorite artist is an abstract artist? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to abstract the abstract then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's style. And I like the five shapes because I, 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 Janet does collage, and I'd like to get even some more collage people involved, Janet, in this because I, and a lot of the work I see them do is abstract, and I want to make this as inclusive as as I can, you know. So five shapes would certainly work. Um, mm -hmm. Do we want to do an open? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wow. That's five shapes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so five shapes, your favorite artist, and an open, whatever you're working on. There okay. you go. 
that well, should be separate. Did you pick? Yeah, you well, can take can't. you can do one, two, three, or and okay. as many of those one, twos, and threes as you feel like. So you'll you'll send us an email on this, right? Yes, I will. Okay. I, I will I will okay. summarize it for everybody. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Well, All right. counting. I have seven percent of my battery. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just and I'm outside, obviously. So it's like, well, I'll tell you, folks. This is you got some great work coming in. This is fantastic. Yeah, this really has been great. It. This has been yeah. great. Okay, everybody's doing good work. Yep. Um, don't forget, there's a debate going on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Start, start, start. I I already know who wins though. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. All right, then we'll bye, see you next bye. month, or we'll see you at the Mark Bradford getting to know in the middle of the month. So stay tuned. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Zoom opening on the 16th. Oh, yeah. That, well, that's being published, guys, too. That's right. Wait yeah. a minute. What was that? What was that? I'll keep it open for you, Kate. There's, um, how many is it? Five or six artists? Plus, there's, a, there's some exhibits going on right now at the BAA Gallery on Ventura. And we're going to have an online reception on the 16th of October. And we're gonna invite basically the world to come. And it's our first attempt at doing a digital presentation of artists' work. Yeah. And the, oh, artists, cool. the, the artists will speak to their work. It'll be priced. If people wanna purchase it, they can. Um, we're starting to move into more of the digital space to get this, you know, to get this out there and to help, actually help our, some of our members to sell their work. Fun. And, okay. and, there's some, and there's some other fun things that I can't talk about, but doing some other stuff as well. <laughs> so yeah, okay. lots of stuff happening. Cool. Lots of stuff okay, happening. so I just find out more by going to their Facebook page. Yeah, it'll be okay. on there. Yeah, it'll be on there okay. for sure. Yeah. Okie dokie. All righty. Bye bye everybody. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>